Going, Doc? Good. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing well. He's got what uh, he's got the cure for what ails us. It's over at uh, Atatash Mountain. A little bit of skiing. Yeah, and you know the conditions are fantastic because uh, we've got the great snowmaking system. When we get that t team run by Kevin Caston, who are mighty particular about the quality of the snow they make, and it shows in the quality. It's good stuff. We pointed that out this morning during the weather forecast that even though we've been in a little bit of a natural snow drought here in the Mount Washington Valley, uh, at least we have cold temperatures. Every night it's been dipping well below freezing, and so your team must be able to just blast the snow. Yeah, every night the temperatures and humidity combination allow us to. You know, Kevin has that has those guys out there going at it as hard as they can. And, uh, you know, one of, uh, one of our guys had a day off yesterday, and he came down through the part of the ptarmigans that was open where there were some big snow whales and some fresh snow. And he said it was like skiing velvet. He said it was just perfect. He, he was having a blast on his day off. Right, and over the last few years, Aditash has added an incredible amount of, of fan guns and snowmaking to their arsenal. And with the, the fan gun technology these days, it's almost like skiing on on powder, on natural snow. Well, it makes a really nice, de you know, a nice light, dry crystal, and yeah. it holds up well and doesn't pack down too much. And you know, it, uh, when you're skiing on it, it, it feels great. Right. So, what's open for terrain right now? If someone's heading to Aditash. Ski uh, either Mountain Attach or Bear Peak today. Of course, you're going to do both when you're there. Why wouldn't you do both? Yeah, but I mean the crossover between the two is open. You know, you can uh, start out, start on either side and work your way in either direction. Illusion over uh, on Bear Peak is obviously always a favorite. Big uh, yeah. F FIS rated, uh, you know, race course type of hill. Long, fast, wide. You can ski it any way you want. Wandering skis is open there if you want a little bit more of a mellower cruise on that side. You've got the Saco through Ammo Pitch all the way down into Lower Cathedral and come through under the, uh, the skier overpass where it uh, crosses under the mountain coaster tracks. I mean, there's just a lot of choices out there. The terrain park is in great shape. Brad and his team have done a phenomenal job. Some real interesting hits and features in there like a, a vertical totem pole. Wow. Um, a, what we call a canted mega box where the box is set in at kind of a, an unusual angle. So you've got multiple rails to grind as you come through. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat, neat setup all the way around. That's great. Now you mentioned the mountain coaster. You can ski under the mountain coaster? Yeah, the bridge the comes trails. up from the base area and Lower Cathedral crosses underneath uh, right under that overpass and as it comes back to the the base area so it's kind of you know the convergence of uh, the, the two major things that are going on at the mountain all in one place and I've heard some I've gotten rave reviews from people who have ridden the mountain coaster saying it's it's a it's a great thrill ride and it's nice the way it it winds down the mountain through the trees yeah it is it, it really is it's fully integrated into the woods so that you know you're not you're not changing the experience you're you're becoming part of it and you've got you know it's full rider controlled speed you can go as fast as slow as you want and going through those tight gaps just kind of enhances the feeling of speed, even if you're not going that fast. And it, it's a big adrenaline rush. I mean, every single person who's come off that has just been wide-eyed and smiling and thinking, wow, I, I can't wait to get back on that again. And it's something a skier or non-skier can do. You don't exactly. have to have your skis to exactly. be able to do that. Uh, you get some music up, up in the pub today, I believe, uh, up at uh, Crosswinds. Right, up in Crosswinds every Saturday. We've got live music. Uh, I believe it's Adam Ezra uh, yep. this afternoon, uh, starting around three o'clock. They'll be to, there till about six thirty. Um, you know, there's a, there's a band every week. You go to the Apre Ski page on the website, and there's a full list of bands, radio station promos. Um, one of the best bands of the year is coming up during Military Salute Weekend, January twenty second and twenty third. It's the Air Force rock band uh, uh, Afterburner. Oh, nice. Um, you know, when I watched them last year, I was blown away. The lead singer has an amazing set of pipes. She's just a phenomenal singer. And you can tell that they've been together for a long time as a band. Right. And they're used to playing in a lot of different venues. And they really know how to get a crowd going. It's just, I can't wait till they're back here again. That sounds awesome. Well, let's, get, let's do a, a rundown of the events that you guys have, uh, starting with uh, the 12th, which is... It's a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. We've got uh, Mountain Dew Vertical Challenge. Mountain Dew Vertical Challenge uh, rolls into town midweek. You know, we're encouraging a lot of locals to come out and uh, you know, have a little fun racing for prizes. Mountain Dew always does a great job. You know, lots of inflatables, lots of products to try, prizes to win. You know, all the swag that you could possibly want. Those guys, they come ready to rock. And then looking ahead to the following weekend, it's the mil uh, 22nd and 23rd Military Salute weekend. How can people get involved in this? Well, we do this every year, and there's a lot of different ways to get involved. Um, you can simply participate by being there that day. We'll give you an American flag. You can join in the ski down parade that starts at Coaches Knoll on Spillway and comes back to the to the base area where there, there's a ceremony, a national anthem, and all that fun stuff. Um, if you want to submit someone to be recognized during Military Salute Weekend, 
just go to adattach.com. On the left side of the home page is a link. It has all the information, the submission form. It takes maybe just a couple minutes and you're done. Um, we just ask that people get their submissions in by the 13th mm -hmm. because we need time to get those posters printed, framed. Right. You know, we get some great help with Minuteman Press here in town who's generous and donates their time wow. to print up the posters for us. Staples donates the frames and the framing services and takes care of that for us. So it's, it's not just us doing this, it's right. other significant members of this community chipping in really to say thank you to the military for everything that they do for us because we run a lot of events every year. And for a large extent, they're about what about Adatash and the Adatash brand. Yep. And this is the exception. This is not about us. Mm -hmm. This is about the military. They can come active and uh, res you know active reserve retired get free tickets. There, there's a great deal for their dependents. Yep. And again, all we ask is that they bring their appropriate military ID in order to do that. And this year, with Wildcat being part of the family, they can also get free skiing and riding on the same two days no at Wildcat. So both mountains, um, free skiing and riding for the military and a great deal for dependents. And we just expect both mountains to be super busy with a lot of happy military families. Well, if you're in the military, you know where you're going to be. Uh, if you have the opportunity on the 22nd and 23rd, it's at Adatash and Wildcat. Uh, or if you know someone in the military, spread the word because uh, what a what a great idea, great opportunity. Yeah, I mean, we have a great time. It's a great parade. The kids from the seasonal programs get involved. You've got the branch flags for all the military branches. Long line of kids with those, those little American flags and red, white, and blue necklaces on, and the Colonial Brass Band, then Afterburner both days in the pub. I mean, there's something to do every single moment. And then you get into Sunday, and aside from the fact that the band's playing again, there's also a giant slalom race, the Division Duel. Anybody can join in and, and uh, you know race, and they get to decide which military branch they want to represent, and that's where their points go. Whatever points they score, go to that branch. Right. We total it up, and we see who wins this year. Who's the reigning champion? Do you know? Uh, I don't remember to be <laughs> honest. I want to say it was the Marines, but I just don't remember. Right. Uh, let's jump ahead to the 29th. Uh, you go, girl. It seems like all women events are be, are in vogue. It's very popular now. Well, what we're finding is particularly with the race events, when you uh, set up a race event for the women, they come out and they're there early and they stay long and they're really into it. And, you know, it's great to have them. And the big thing about You Go Girls is, is that um, the proceeds, you know, half the proceeds go right to the Susan G. Komen Foundation uh, for the cure because that's something that, you know, we take very seriously. And we encourage them to, you know, get out, get out the numbers, tell their friends. It, it, it's not just about how you do, it's about what you're supporting. Yep. And it's a season-long point series. In the past, it's been more of a diversified format. But you're right, women are really into racing right now. So we're trying to make as many of those races available to, as possible. And you know, we're even toying with the idea of seeing if we can fit one more in this year, oh, if nice. the schedule allows, just because it just means another opportunity to contribute to a good cause. Right. So while you're single guys, when you're up here on the 29th, saying, where are all the women? <laughs> they don't know they're at Adatash, they and they're on the race course. And then Crosswinds Pub is going to be a great place to be for after ski that day. Uh, hotel deals. You guys have the only slopeside hotel in the valley, and you're, you've got a great deal going. Oh, it's a phenomenal deal. It's a uh, $79 per person based on double occupancy ski and stay package. So you get your room for the night and your lift ticket, and uh, at a price you just can't beat. 79 bucks for skiing and, sta and staying in the hotel, overnight. with which is a ski in, ski out accommodation. Right. I mean, you, you just can't, you can't find a better deal than that. You really can't. I mean, lift ticket, room, and the thing to remember is it's just, you know, it's only $79, and it is based on, you know, per person price on double occupancy. Right. Heck, even if you live here in the Mount Washington Valley year-round, it's... I'd, I'd do that for 79 bucks. Hey, if you need a getaway, get out of the house, you know, for a night and just go ski, have a good meal, maybe uh, try a little breakfast in Crawford's. Mm. It, it'd be a nice little escape without going too far. St staycations are still in vogue. That sounds awesome. Now, I guess this weekend, a little bit of a gap in the event schedule, so we benefit because there's open racing this yep. weekend. Um, our racing events manager, Corey Madden, uh, came up with the idea of just uh, setting up a time course in the uh, race arena portion of Spillway. So he'll have his guys out there this morning setting a course, setting up the timing. There's no charge to use it. Um, just, you know, take your turn because a lot of people may want to do that, but it's going to be going on all weekend. All right. uh, schedule will be posted on the website for exactly what hours it's available, but uh, there's a sizable amount of free training room to be had. So, uh, you know, 
get your GS sticks out and let's 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 get it going. Great skiing, great events, um, and obviously uh, just a lot of fun going on at Adatash. Uh, anything else we missed, Doug? No, I think we pretty much covered it. You know, when it comes to the, uh, just want to remind everybody, when it comes to military salute, we're still accepting submissions for anybody who you know wants to nominate someone to be recognized. But you do have to get them to us by January 13th, so we have enough time to get the posters and everything produced. All right, Doug. Nice thing you're doing over at Adistash. Thank you so much for joining us and it's uh, a pleasure. spreading the word this morning. Absolute pleasure. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we have more on White Mountains today, weather, events, ski conditions, and some watch and win.